Hey everyone, I'm Frenzy the Killbot, and this is the first video of a new LP. Uh, I have two co-commentators with me, Cletus. Hello. And Swordfish. Hello. Uh, and this game uh, should not be a surprise what it is. And it is Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. Blood Dragon. <laughs> yeah. This game is amazing. Uh, it's essentially a total conversion mod of Far Cry 3. Uh, it's, it's the best way to describe it. But the With more blood and more dragons. Uh, more dragons, anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> it, yeah, the setting for this game is essentially like a weird cyberpunk 80s sci-fi setting. It's, it's very bizarre, and you... Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, it feels like a lot of montage, like a hour long Rocky montage. Rocky montage. Exactly. <laughs> it's Fire Cry on Acid. Now, like I said, this is um, essentially a mod of the regular game. It doesn't have a lot of the same options. So no multiplayer, no co-op multiplayer. Uh, we're going to be playing on medium, and let's just get right into it with some very interesting cutscenes. Space, Earth, in the near future, at the end of the 20th century. Nuclear war has engulfed the planet. Active ashes of North America, a new breed of soldier is reborn. Main cortex online. Theta waves at four pulses and rising. 4.6 now, twerk. Induce delta. Keep him under 0.5 pulses. Limb actuators online. Uh huh. Cyber heart pumping at 130%. He's a strong one. Upload the program. Sergeant Rex Power Colt, you are a Mark IV now. Part man, part machine, but all Cyber Commando. Wake your wake, your motherfucker. Op says there's a delay in the feed. You need to recalibrate your ass. Me? Well, it ain't me, because I'm goddamn near perfect. Men want to be me? And you want to be with men? Yeah, I got it. We're coming up on our target. Brian patch orders downloaded. Mission parameters. Penetrate enemy bunker and download intel on enemy operation. Full lethal sanction enabled. Opposition is black sector threat. Repeat, black sector threat. Geneva Convention restrictions lifted. Lieutenant, just who the hell are we taking down? I couldn't tell you, Sergeant. The black sector, that could only mean a handful of outfits. All of them bad news, Spider. Alert, alert. Flight arm scanet detected. Healing room 7-3 is no longer on stealth vector. Evasive, evasive, evasive. That mean what I think it means? <laughs> just like that thing in Central America. I'm gonna have me some fun. Uh, and here we get the first gameplay for uh, Blood Dragon. <laughs> they wanted to start you out slow, right? Yeah. Uh, wow. Personally, I think this is kind of a, a reference to the original Far Cry. Far Cry 3, sorry. 
Uh, because it ended with a helicopter turret sequence. <laughs> and this game starts with one. I just want to point out that they nuked Toronto and it's a Montreal film company. I don't know if there's some sort of competition there. <laughs> it's Rob Ford's Toronto. Well, no, this, remember, this is in the year 2007 or something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they, I must have missed that. That's yeah, awesome. or maybe they haven't Maybe they haven't mentioned it yet. Um, but yeah, that, that was indeed Toronto, and we will hear a little bit more about why. But uh, for now, we're going to go in some more cutscenes. Shut us down, now! Receiving to coordinates. I gotta do my shit. I'll find a bunker entrance! And I'll provide the distraction. Let's show them how cyber commandos get it done. Mark Force style, motherfucker! Tutorial Batch 101 from Military Navigation for Idiots. Auto holstering weapons for silent approach. Oh, you fucking asshole. Now have fun! Alright, so here we get the tutorial for this game. <laughs> and they they go pretty much full out on this. <laughs> for the record, I, I was laughing through that entire cutscene. You probably... Cut it out. I'm going to cut it out, but yeah, no, they are they are really funny. I love the Super Nintendo style cutscenes. They're... My favorite line so far is a new breed of soldier reborn. Yeah. <laughs> that killed me. There's what about men men want to be like me, and he's like, and you want to be with men. <laughs> there is a ton of amazing dialogue in this game. Yeah, this whole head talking is pretty amazing, and a lot of the um. Like the tool tips that pop up for some reason, uh, always talk about muscles, like which muscles you need to use. So um, we're not going to see this for a while, but we yeah, your auxiliary muscles. Yeah, all, all sorts of stuff like that, and even stuff like uh, pressing random buttons. It'll tell you to use like your various finger and thumb muscles to push buttons. It's really funny. Perform a blade takedown when sneaking up to an enemy. Running is like walking, but faster. <laughs> I remember uh, I, this this first little sequence here is the uh, was the demo way back when, and I remember as soon as I started playing the tutorial, I just I don't know, I just love this game. <laughs> Basically, all the same um, mechanics I guess from Far Cry Three are in this game. So we have this. Although it's our cyber eye instead of a camera. Um, Takedowns. Uh, <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah, instead of throwing rocks, you throw D20s for basically no good reason. Um, just uh, for a bit of background, how much does a game cost? Is, is it? Uh, it's not an add-on. Right? No, this is um, on the Xbox anyway. It's a it's an arcade Xbox Live arcade game. Okay. I think it, I think right now it's like twenty bucks maybe, but not a full price game. After a blade takedown, you can change Which um, is fair because it is quite short actually. Um, my practice run for this game, I didn't do any of the side stuff, and it took me like three, maybe four hours. Not not very long. So many men, so little time. Also, get used to Rex. Um, Seriously. Saying one-liners after basically everything he does. <laughs> Do they get repetitive? Yeah, a little bit. Um, so at this point, they just throw you the rest of the tutorial stuff, along with a couple amusing things thrown in. Um, it's very obvious they were trying to sort of spoof 
bad and annoying tutorials. Unfortunately, they kind of tired of tutorial. They kind of make it bad and annoying. But yeah, as a spoof, it is pretty funny. I fucking hate tutorials, and this one is terrible. But they do know what they're doing, apparently. <laughs> After performing a blade takedown, you can shuriken a nearby enemy. Sure, you can. Yeah. So much like the D20, instead of a rock, they've replaced certain things with, I guess, other things. So shurikens instead of throwing knives. Um, various things in the game will just be called cyber whatever for no good reason. So like, <laughs> I think the bow is called the cyber bow, and it's just a bow and arrow but with neon lights on it. <laughs> yeah. Makes it shoot faster. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the kind of style this game has. So I am trying to be a little stealthy here and take out the alarm. Uh, I completely screw up though, I'm not taking the right path through this. So I do get detected, but um, honestly, not a big deal. I'm going to shoot everybody anyways. So uh, the new weapons. This is the pistol. I think it's called the AJM-12. And it's actually a complete uh, homage to Robocop's gun. And if I'm rem remembering correctly, AJM is actually the main character's initials in uh, Robocop. These enemies are very strong against that gun. Yeah, the pistol is not not good. Uh, well, we'll see that a little later. This is the Phaser Tron. Phaser Tron. It's the assault rifle. Their heads seem to explode pretty nicely. Yeah, I think um, in general this game has a bigger bonus to headshots, or at least um, they take less damage from body shots. This is the Galleria 1991, I believe, is the number. The shotgun, obviously. <laughs> really? Yep. Uh, the reload animation for it is just amazing, where he just flips shells from one hand yeah. straight in. <laughs> I was noticing that. And Wait, what's with the grip position? Is that like a legitimate grip? or? Um, like just resting it on his arm? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I think it just looks cool. It does. does look cool. And is it? It's probably the shotgun equivalent of holding a pistol sideways. Yeah. And uh, that was the Cobra Con sniper rifle, which is, you know, the sniper rifle. <laughs> was that necessary? Fire patch. Why didn't you tell us this was a mega force? They were a mega force. Now Sloan's gone rogue, and we need to know why. Penetrate the bunker and download the data from the mainframe. Rex, this is Sloan. Colonel Ike Sloan. I served under him too, Spider. No way he went rogue. Not him. You ready to put a bullet in the big man? Let's just get to the mainframe and figure out what the hell is going on. That was a cool reload too. Yeah, I was about to say, all of the sort of um, weapon animations are new and they're all amazing. They're pretty much just sort of completely over the top Reminder, amusing you can chain kill nearby enemies protecting heavily armored cyber soldiers use heavy ordnance it's a mega force all right yeah so uh, at this point in the game i think we have a few uh, well weapon upgrades that we won't have uh, shortly but the game does start us off with some of the takedowns so death from above chain takedowns these are things that we had to uh unlock in far cry 3 but they just start us off with makes sense i mean you want it to be fun and quick yeah they, they want you to get right into it they gave you future tattoos yeah cyber tattoos tattoo <laughs> um however some some stuff, some skills, are still um, locked for now. You can get up to 30 levels, and they do things like increase your health and uh, unlocking uh, some of the more advanced skills and takedowns. Enemy types are all still the same, so there we have a normal guy and um, 
think what was called a charger. Uh, this guy with Molotovs. Keep your distance and target their expensive taste and accelerant. <clears throat> Although in this game, uh, Molotovs are called Molotoxes because I guess it's more futury. Mm -hmm. It is pretty futury. Yeah. Uh, these catwalks are something that several of the uh, enemy bases are going to have. And I think they just wanted to give you a, a bit of a more streamlined way to stealth. And death from above. Yep, those are unlocked straight from the start. No waiting for that. So the leveling, is that a new thing? Or were you always just top level in Far Cry when I watched it? Um... No, we were we were advancing in levels in Far Cry 3 as well. Yeah, I think he mentioned it in one of the earlier videos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like most of that stuff I was doing behind the scenes. I wasn't really showing unlocking things. Um, mm -hmm. This game is even better actually cuz while I wasn't showing it in Far Cry 3, I did still have to manually go and choose which skills to unlock. Let's find that mainframe. Um, mm -hmm. and in this game it's it's just set Level two is this skill. Level three is this skill. Mm. So you just you just basically play, and they all unlock as you go. And it pauses and tells you them. Uh, I think there is a pop up that tells you what you've unlocked, but um, to actually get sort of a a detail, you have to go into the start menu and find it. It's a high orbit red sphere. Thought all those motherfuckers were decommissioned. Last I heard, we were still using them. Testing payload dispersal up in the Canadian wastelands. What kind of payload? I don't think I want to know. Objective complete. Mainframe located. There it is! We found the mainframe. Secure that intel. Work your black magic, Lieutenant. Hey, don't be hating a brother for his skills now. Alert. Unauthorized access detected. Kimball Bunker. Enter passcode. You have 20 seconds to comply. Spider. I know, I know. Four. Four. Three. Two. One. Failsafe countermeasures active. Beginning pre-launch diagnostics. Initiating decapitation strike protocols. The helo is picking up multiple heat signatures converging on you. It's moving into position, Lieutenant. I'll cover you. You better! Objective. Protect Lieutenant Brown while he hacks the mainframe. I might have to hijack the system. This could burn out my main Cortex CPU. Just come back in one piece. You got a wife and kid waiting for you. Hey, Rex! If this don't work, you tell them. You tell them I died for my country. You tell her that yourself. You hear me? Right. Here goes the fist chat. Yeah, some more, some more awesome dialogue there. The first layer of yep. Oh yeah. They actually have an animation for him putting his fist into the computer, which I think is kind of, kind of funny. That's how you hack, right? That is how he Pretty hacks. <laughs> Hacking the ROM drive. Yeah. Uh, this entire section, he's just going to be saying completely nonsensical computery things. It's really funny. <laughs> I have to love just when he said I'm going to hack the mainframe, because that always makes me laugh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> For the record, uh, Cletus has a lot of background in computer yeah. information. So. Um, yeah, most of this game, so like the hacking the mainframe thing, thing is probably, you know, a reference to hackers or something. Yeah, um, pretty much any early movie where they talk about hacking. Yeah, this entire game is full of uh, references to like 80s movies and video games and that kind of stuff. Um, I There's no way I know them all. Some of them are very obvious and a lot of them probably aren't. But I've been told that it's just chock full of all sorts of different references. <laughs> Hack 
Hack the planet. <laughs> Hack the planet. Still, still wrist deep in that computer. I did it! Yeah! Objective failed. What? Pre-launch checkpoints complete. Coordinates uploaded. Spider, focus, Lieutenant. What am I supposed to do? Shit, Hilo 73. Requesting immediate evac. Lieutenant Brown is down. Hilo 7 3 inbound. Run, 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 run. Too much information. Hey, I corrupted. Blood. Decapitation strike countdown has begun. Tell me what to do. Missile launch autonomous. Get to the control plate. What? Out the ignition controls on the control box. Shoot, 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 shoot the brain cage. Shoot the. Shit. Uh, locate the missile control panel for me. Five by five. Highlighting objective. Objective. Disable secondary ignition controls. Missile in position. Yep, so we need to go disable a rocket. Oh. I like, I think there's like a long comedic delay for when it was like, what? Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is as well. Now, uh, we have to, f there's a big fight here. They throw a couple heavies at us and a bunch of guys. I'm not sure the time can actually run out here. It seems like the two AIs just keep modifying the countdown time. But it um it doesn't really matter because we don't actually have to do this. All we have to do is oh. run through everybody to the uh, objective marker there, and it will immediately cut to a uh, well cutscene. You probably have to live though too, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Offline. Countdown aborted. Countdown aborted. Countdown aborted. 07-3, on approach. 